بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم چپٹر نمبر سیون سٹرکچر آف دا ارتھ اور ارتھ از دا اونلی پلینٹ آف سولر سسٹم ویئر کنڈیشنز آر کنڈیوسو فار دا ایگزٹینس آف لائف دا ایئر واٹر سوائل لائٹ اینڈ سوٹیبل ٹمپریچر آن دا ارتھ پرووائڈ بیسک ریکوائرمنٹس فار لیونگ انوائرمنٹ دا گروتھ آف آل لیونگ کریچرس آن دا ارتھ از پاسبل ڈیو ٹو دیم What is inside the earth? Let us perform an activity to understand it. Do you know the diameter of the earth is 12,800 km and its distance from the sun is 150 million km. Number 1. Structure of the earth. You have observed that there are three layers within the egg. The outermost thin layer is its rind. There is yolk in the middle of the egg and in between the two layers is its white layer. According to the geologists, the parts of an egg resemble exactly the inner st structure of the earth as shown in the picture. The rind of the egg is like the crust, the white part is like the mantle and the yolk is like the core of the earth. Let us explore the crust, mantle and core of the earth one by one. Info box. Although the volume of internal core of the earth is 16% of the total volume of the earth but it, its weight is 33% of the total weight of the earth. It means that the internal core is made of very heavy material. The crust. The outer layer of the earth is called the crust. It is that part on the earth on which we live. This part contains lofty mountains, deep oceans, rivers, deserts, green fields, and rural and urban dwellings. It consists of solid matter. The average thickness of the crust is about 5 km to 70 km. Even beneath the oceans, its thickness is about 5 km. It is only 1% of the Earth's volume. The mantle. The layer of the Earth under the crust is called the mantle. This is the biggest part of the earth by volume. Its thickness is about 2,900 km. It is 84% of the earth's volume. The mantle is made up of various layers, including the upper mantle, transition zone, lower mantle and D-double prime, which is where the mantle and outer core meet. This part is extremely hot and highly thick fluid like honey. This comes out of the earth's surface in the form of lava during volcanic The core. The central part of the earth is called the core. It is the hottest part of the earth. Core is found at 2900 kilometers from the surface of the earth. It is 15% of the volume of the earth. The core consists of two parts. Part A, inner core. Part B, outer core. Due to extreme pressure, the inner core is almost solid, whereas the outer core is in the form of a thick black molten fluid which contains elements like iron and nickel. It is extremely hot. Its temperature is about uh, 5000 degrees centigrade. The thickness of the outer core 
is 2300 kilometers and thickness of the inner core is 1200 kilometers info box the lithosphere is the outermost rigid solid layer it consists of uppermost part of mantle and crust the asthenosphere is solid upper mantle material that is so hot and molten the lithosphere rides on the asthenosphere quick quiz a peach is cut into half label its part showing resemblance with the structure of the earth match the resemblance of its peel pulp and seed with the parts of the earth structure of earth crust upper mantle zero transition zone 410 lower mantle 660 d layer 2700 outer core 2900 inner core 5100 number two volcanoes these are big mountains which produce lava gases and ash on eruption usually volcanoes are cone-shaped mountains why volcanoes erupt our earth crust is made of many slabs called tectonic plates these plates float on the molten magma also called the mantle and collide with each other at the boundary of these plates earth crust is cracked or broken for example on the edges of uh, con continents from these broken sites volcanoes erupt and produce lava gases and ash common features of volcanoes number one crater one of the most common feature of volcanoes is a big opening at the top called is crater when the volcano erupts lava ash and gas come out of it from here while some volcanoes only have one large crater others have numerous smaller ones number two cone shape they are often cone shaped like a big upside down ice cream cone and can be very tall the shape is caused by the layers of rock and ash that build up over time as the volcano erupts number three magma and lava under the earth's crust there are molten rocks called magma this magma rises up from the surface during volcanic eruptions scientists call it lava volcanoes uh, can also have different types of eruptions which can be explosive or more gentle explosive eruptions can shoot ash and rocks high into the air while gentle eruptions can create slow moving lava flows magma layers of lava and ash lava ash crater number three earthquakes the earth's crust is the outer layer of the earth it is made up of different layers or uh, slabs called tectonic plates tectonic plates are composed of large rigid pieces of the earth's crust and uppermost part of the mantle earth crust is floating on the magma so these plates are always in motion but these plates usually move really slow so we do do not even observe they move about 1 centimeter to 20 centimeter in one year due to their motion these plates can come close or go away from each other these plates can also slide past each other in horizontal motion. <clears throat> Their motion results in different phenomena called earthquakes, volcanic eruption, and mountain formation. Sometimes when a tect uh, tectonic plate slips under other plate, 
or two plates slide uh, slide against each other suddenly at cracks for example fault lines huge amount of energy is released this causes the surface of earth to shake and move earthquake occurs so we say that an earthquake occurs when the ground shakes and moves because of the movement of the tectonic plates hypocenter epicenter the point at which the earthquake begins under the earth surface is called hypocenter or focus the ex the exact point above it on the surface of earth is called epicenter epicenter can be defined as the location on a map where the beginning of an earthquake may be pinpointed the device to measure the intensity of earthquake is seismograph is written in figure this device gives the intensity of earthquake on rector scale up to magnitude 10 seismograph string pendulum rod rotating drum spot pen chart paper scale 0 10 20 30 40 50 60 frame transmits earth's vibrations to wire base set into the ground horizontal earth movements seismograph uh, seismogram tracing of vibrations rotating paper drum pen wire frame major earthquakes in recent history number 1 valdivia chile 22 may 1960 magnitude 9.5 Number two, Prince William Sound, Alaska, twenty-eight March, nineteen sixty-four, magnitude nine point two. Number three, Sumatra, Indonesia, twenty-six December, two thousand four, magnitude nine point point one. Number four, Sendai, Japan, eleven March, two thousand eleven, magnitude nine point zero. Number five, Kamchatka. Kamchatka, Russia, four November, nineteen fifty-two, magnitude nine point zero. Date, region, magnitude, nine twenty-eight, two thousand thirteen, Avaran, six point eight, nine twenty-four, two thousand thirteen, Avaran, Kech, uh, seven uh, seven point seven. One eighteen two thousand eleven. Gadi Kheru Koita Balochistan seven point two. Eleven twelve two thousand ten. Koita four point seven. Key points number one. There are three layers of the earth on the basis of its structure. Number two. The outer layer is known as the crust. it consists of seas and solid ro- rocks three the middle layer is the mantle it consists of extremely hot thick fluid number four the core is the central part of the earth it is the hottest and the heaviest part of the earth number five volcanoes are big mountains which produce lava gases and ash on eruption number six one of the most common features of volcanoes is a big opening at the top called is crater uh, number 7 under the earth's crust there are molten rocks called magma number 8 an earthquake is when the ground shakes and moves because of the movement of the tectonic plates